this is another um this is another binary operation question this um question came on the june 2003 cxc maths paper and we are going to um solve this question so the question started by saying that given that m asterisk l is equal to m squared minus lm we're supposed to evaluate 5 asterisk 3 so the system that they gave us was m asterisk l is equal to m squared minus lm remember the asterisk it doesn't mean you're going to add subtract multiply or divide it's only representing the binary operation you should always remember that so if you're supposed to evaluate 5 asterisk 3 so if you realize asterisk matched up with asterisk so 5 represents what m the 5 represents the m and the l represents 3 so over this side wherever we see m we're going to write 5 wherever we see l we're going to write 3 so m 5 squared minus l which is 3 l times m, l times m which is 3 times 5 so 5 asterisk 3 is equal to 5 squared remember 5 squared is equal to 5 times 5 which is equal to 25 so we have 25 here minus 3 times 5 3 times 5 is equal to 15 15 so 5 asterisk 3 is equal to no 25 minus 15 gives us 10 so 5 asterisk 3 is equal to 10 now that was the first section to the question second piece solve for g given that g asterisk 4 is equal to negative 3 so remember we're going to use the same system to um operate this question so the system that they gave us was m asterisk l equal to m squared minus l m and the question is g asterisk 4 equals to negative 3 so we're going to just write g asterisk 4 equals to negative 3 now forget about the negative 3 for now forget about the negative 3 for now we're just going to evaluate this section we need to substitute the m the g for m and the 4 for l so g so g asterisk 4 is equal to so remember anywhere we say m we're going to substitute g wherever we say l we're going to substitute 4 so we're going to have g squared minus l is 4 m is g so we're going to have g squared minus 4 times g so g asterisk 4 is equal to g squared minus 4g but remember up here it said that g asterisk 4 is equal to what negative 3 so wherever we say g asterisk 4 we could represent it with what negative 3 so g asterisk um, 4 is equal to g squared minus 4g so remember i'm going to replace g asterisk 4 with what negative 3 right here so negative 3 is equal to g squared minus 4g so if you realize this turns um a quadratic equation so i'm just going to bring this negative 3 over the equal sign i'm going to have g squared minus 4 g this negative um three when it goes over the equal sign the sign is going to change so change from negative to positive equals to zero because if we take the three bring it over the equal sign we don't really have anything left over there so we just use zero to hold the place now this is a quadratic um equation so we need to factorize this so remember a quadratic um expression or equation it's written in the form of a x square plus bx plus c so in this case in this case in front of g a 
So x squared is representing g squared and x is representing the g here. So b it would be negative 4, c would be 3, and a would be 1 in this case. So we're going to use the ac method to solve the square um, quadratic question. So a times c in this case is 1, ti 1 times 3. So 1 times 3 is 3. We need two factors. We we'll multiply them. It should give us the the, um, the c value, which is 3 in this case. When we add those two values, those two factors, we should get negative 4. So let's see. Um, 1 times 3. 1 times 3 will give us, give us 3. But if we add them, if we realize, if we add these two numbers, we get positive 4. So if we add them, so 1 plus 3 is equal to positive 4. What are you supposed to get again? Negative 4. So let's try again. Remember, if we multiply two negative numbers, it gives us a positive number. So negative 10, negative will give us a positive 3. And if I add these two numbers, negative 3 and negative 1, we get negative 4. So the factors are negative 3 and negative 1. So we're going to replace the middle term for this um, equation with the two factors. So we're going to have g squared minus 1g minus 3g plus 3 equal to 0. Now, if you realize, adding back the middle terms, as in the like terms, will give us back a negative 4g. Now, we're going to collect like, um, sorry, we're going to factorize by grouping. So what I usually do is just separate it, both this pair and this pair with a dotted line, and I'm going to factorize by grouping, fact by um, distributive law right here. Because remember, distributive law, we have um, two pairs. So for example, we have A bracket B plus C. If I should distribute this, I'm going to have AB plus AC. So if I'm factorizing by distributive law, the, um, the, this would be the question, this would be the answer. So we'd have to pull out A from both sides or from a pair. We'll get this as the answer. So we're going to factorize here. So on this side, what is common? If we realize we have G on both sides. So G, open bracket, what can I multiply? G by to get G squared, another G minus 1. So G times G, G squared, G times minus 1, minus G. Now anything in this bracket should be in the bracket on the other side here. So G minus 1 equal to 0. Now if you realize the signs, they change. Whenever the sign change, you put a negative outside. And if you realize up here, 3 is common. Now, from this, if you realize, we have g minus 1 twice. So I'm going to write g minus 1. And whatever is left outside of the brackets, I'm going to write it in another bracket, which is g minus 3 equal to 0. Now, this is the product of two binomials. So what am I going to do? Remember, we need to solve a g. So I'm going to let each of the binomials equal to 0. So g minus 1 is equal to 0 and g minus 3 is equal to 0 right here i can say g is equal to 1 and right here g is equal to 3 remember negative 1 when it goes right equals and turn positive negative 3 when it goes right turn positive now we need to check because if we realize we have two values for g we need to check which one of these values would satisfy our binary operations remember the system was m asterisk l equal to m squared equal to m squared minus lm and the question that they gave us was g was g asterisk 4 equal to negative 3 so which whichever of these values we substitute into our system for g and we get negative 3 as the answer that is our result so let's see which one will work so let's try the one first so when g is one asterisk four equal to we're going to use the system remember what is supposed to get for the answer negative three so one squared minus minus four times one which is equal to one minus four which is equal to negative three so if you realize g if the um the value the one that we had substitute first worked gives us a negative three so it satisfies the binary operation so let's try another one the other value which is three let's try the other value so 
we have the system which is m asterisk l equal to m squared minus lm and the other value for g was 3 and we have um, 4 here equal to so m is so we are going to have 3 squared minus um, 4 times 3 so equal to 3 squared so 3 asterisk 4 is equal 3 squared is 9 minus 3 4 is 12, um, 12. Uh, sorry about that 12 now 9 minus um, 12 will give us negative 3 so as you can see both values worked so we can say that g is equal to 1 and also g is equal to 3 so these are the two values that we got for um, our question.